So guys, I want to show you something about this card. If you look at this card, this card is, you know, empty. This is how we print it from China. You can see it. This is how we print it from China. Then after printing, what we do is, is what? We start assembling it. If you look at this one, yeah, I just saw that some few components. So one thing about this card is that even though you don't know anything about you know electronics you can couple this card and use it for your work or to build an inverter but mostly what we normally use this for is to do conversion for all those foreign inverters that maybe their board uh, their board got damaged and uh, is very very hard to you know replace or maybe they bought the the panel is not available in the company so this is just like a an alternative to it and it works very per perfectly just like the foreign one okay so if you look at this card now you see the values so each of these things shows you the value that will go into the slots okay so if you look at this one all these resistors are the values that you are seeing here the value that is that here are those resistors and it is indicated by the their color okay we also have a coupled one this is fully coupled okay this thing is just like the membrane of an inverter this is what monitors how the inverter behaves both the short circuit um, um, battery and the input all those things that you are seeing on the screen this is what monitors it remember inverter is made up of three badges three badge which is the oscillating board which is this one then we have what we call the power board okay let me let me show you an example of a power board this is a power board this is what we call power board okay this is what we call power board like this one is for just test running and another badge is what we call the transformer i don't have any transformer here so if not i would have shown you how transformer looks like so with this which is the power board and this thing which is the oscillating board that controls it you will not have a fully working solar inverter system so if you are go if you are, you are if you have been following me you will see how, how you know i've been posting some videos about inverters okay so if you like to build one for yourself and this is pure sine wave this is pure sine wave okay it makes use of a programmable IC, which is known as microcontroller, and these are the driver, uh, the driver side the thing that drives this uh, power section, and it communicates with this microchip here. Okay, so I will be showing you maybe when I I have any inverter to convert, I will show you how the process, how we do that. But just know that this is how this card comes after printing it from china then we assemble it like this so if you want an empty one you can get it from us if you want assembled one you can also get it from us so it all depends you must not know anything about electronics we can put you through to assemble or to build one for yourself uh, you know teach you how all this, all this thing works so that is it about this so cash you see you next time